How you doing YouTube? Time for another beer review and we're going to be reviewing what, at least from what I've heard a lot of people in the Northeast just simply refer to as lager. Yingling traditional lager. Now this is an amber beer. I typically just say, oh, it's kind of like a Vienna lager, I guess. 4.4% um, alcohol by volume by the Yingling and Sons Brewing Company of Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Had a friend of mine ask, uh, she was like, Hey, and I said, is there any beers anybody want me to review? She's like, well, do Yingling. And I was like, oh, I can definitely do that. Now, this is this is a 24-ounce can, but you can also get it in uh, the 12-ounce green bottles also. I've never had an issue with skunking on those, so choose, what, choose whatever one you want. Normally, I'd say go with a can over a green bottle, but if you want to try it in the bottle, and the phone shifted. If you want to try it in the bottle, go right ahead, no issue. As far as color goes, you know, I gave it a halfway aggressive pour, got some decent head out of it. The color, definitely darker than your typical gas station beers. Definitely amber would be a decent color to describe this as. Maybe even, uh, I'd say copper, definitely a coppery color. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't know if this has adjunct or not but it might again I'm not 100% sure though also a lot of people go oh this is America's oldest beer no no it's not but it is from America's oldest running brewery you get a biscuity malt you know maybe maybe a light roast on it but it's very biscuity as far as the smell goes also very rocky head a lot of texture on that. Let's go ahead and get us water. It's pretty light, but compared to your Bud Miller cores, a little bit more flavor. Ooh, yeah, definitely biscuity. Like I'm just getting a nice breadiness, a little bit sweet. They're, you know, I'm, I'm starting to think that these, uh, the malted barley in this might be lightly roasted. Just because I'm getting what I would describe as slightly darker flavors than a Bud Miller Coors. Definitely, uh, definitely a little more sweet. But not like a cheap grain sweetness. Not like a, oh wow, this has a bunch of corn in it. Um, wouldn't be surprised if there was some corn in this, but... This is definitely a malted barley kind of sweetness, and you do get a little bit of a floral hop character. Not incredibly bitter, but I would say that this beer has, you know, slightly higher IBUs than uh, your basic American adjunct lager. You know, Bud Light, I think, is like 10 or 11 IBUs. This, you know, I'd say it could be, wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere, you know, along 14 or 15. Not a huge jump up in hoppiness, but there's definitely something there. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This is one of my go-to kind of cheaper fancy beers. If I'm, you know, want to sit down and I want to drink a beer, but I don't want to drink something that's just, you know, watery. I want to drink something with a little bit more flavor, but I don't want to go straight into craft beer or certain imports. I still want to, you know, keep, uh, keep the spending down. Yingling is a good alternative. incredibly smooth even though it has a little bit more flavor than like I said your Bud Miller Coors definitely mild very sessionable I could definitely uh, I could definitely kill a couple of these down you know at a bar no problem just watching a ball game and also I could eat with this too this would definitely be good with you know pizza or hamburgers or something like that um, it's like I said it has flavor it has a very you know at least for me, a very likable round character to it where, you know, it's not just water, but it's not uh, incredibly hoppy either, but it's also, you know, sweet, but not too sweet. It's, it's very likable and very round. You know, this is definitely a step up from, you know, Budweiser. Nothing, nothing wrong with Budweiser, but definitely a step up for me. 
And for the price and for the style, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a seven and a half. Um, is this the greatest beer that I've ever had? No, but a lot of times if I'm going to a ball game or if I'm going to a bar, you know, I wanna get something on draft, but you know, they might not have you know, some crazy craft beer I'm looking for. They might not have some weird um, regional lager I want. They're probably going to have, you know, Bud Light, Michelob Ultra, Coors Light, Miller Light. They might have one or two local craft offerings. They might have Heineken. They probably have Corona. You know, might have Dos Equis. But one that they always seem to have at a lot of restaurants and uh, ballparks is Yingling. Like, I went to the PBR a couple years ago, you know, professional bull riding in Atlanta, and I think their uh, domestic draft beer was $9 a uh, nine dollars a cup. I mean, I'm thinking it might have been like a 16-ounce plastic cup compared to, uh, I think the imports were $10. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to get a domestic. And I looked, and it was literally Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light. Um... I don't think they had Budweiser. They probably had Michelob Ultra. Um, any other domestics I can think of. They did have some craft beer, although it was import price. And Yingling. So I went, I'm getting the Yingling. And, uh, yeah, like I said, $9. I ended up spending, I think, hell, probably 45 bucks on this. Just for five beers. But it was very good, very refreshing, I, you know. I'd rather spend bar prices where I could have got it for maybe five bucks, but you know, beggars can be choosers, I get. Well, I paid for it, but that's what you get when you go out. Anyway, I think I said seven and a half. I'm definitely going with that. Like I said, if you want, you know, a simple beer that's refreshing, you can drink a decent amount of, but you don't want to go Bud Miller Coors. You want something a little bit of a step up, you know, but at the same time, you, you don't want a stout or a porter or some, you know, IPA, you still want something drinkable and refreshing. Um, Yingling is definitely the way to go. You got that biscuity malt character, you got that sweetness. Oh, ooh, well, that sounded nasty. That was supposed to have been a burp. And then you have that little bit of a floral hop character. And frankly, it just rounds it all out, and it's one of the best deals in beer. Uh, I really don't have any marks against it. Um, of course, you know, a craft beer drinker might go, well, that's a little bland. Of course, unremarkable, but at the same time, this is a good beer. It's a very solid beer, and I think seven and a half, considering the style and the price, is more than fair. So have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow. Make sure you're drinking damn good beer like this Yingling here. And also, make sure to kill your local pedophile.